So, Sheikh, is life insurance allowed? Am I allowed to take life insurance? And if not, like, what could I do to sort of guarantee, or well, you can't guarantee, but try and like help the safety of my family and myself? Well, uh, to answer the second part of your question, no one can guarantee um, financial security for themselves, let alone others. Of course. Um, so that's something where we uh, must observe reliance upon Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and also uh, utilize all of the means mm. to work and to uh, exert ourselves in earning a living, uh, which every Muslim must do. Um, the Muslim is to be a provider and yeah. not a burden mm. on anyone. And that's more beloved to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to be the giver rather than the receiver yeah. of, uh, of support. Uh, so long as you are able to earn a living, mm. it's, better that you, uh, it's better that you earn and that you give and rather than uh, being a burden on others and dependent on other people's support. As for life insurance, the jurists have uh, stated that life insurance is not permissible okay. uh, for a number of reasons. We won't go through all of them, but that there is um, every transaction in Islam, the return on a payment must be specified and known. Mm -hmm. And uh, with life insurance, like many forms of insurance, the, the payment is continuous mm -hmm. without knowledge of when the return will be yeah. and how much it will be. So it needs to be in proportion the return what you get back for your for your money mm. needs to be uh, in proportion with what you with what you gave uh, and what you paid <clears throat> as for as for insurance which is uh, which is compulsory by law then obviously the sharia makes allowances uh, you, you shouldn't break the law yeah. uh, if if by law you by law you do have to have uh, car insurance then an exception is made in, in such a case, but mm. if there's if there is no um, if there is no obligation uh, in the law uh, for you to uh, purchase uh, insurance, then one should stay away from 